Welcome to another Tech Help Quick Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the bang versus the dot operator in Microsoft Access. Now, this is something I see all the time. People ask me why their databases don't work or what's the difference between the bang and the dot. And I decided to put a video together because I'm sick of answering this question. So I'm going to start referring you to this video. Now, this is a little more advanced tip. It's for people who usually do a little VBA programming. But you may see in your VBA this or this. There's me dot first name. If you're referencing the first name field on the current form. Okay, you're on your customer form, for example. And you got first name as a field. All right, me dot first name, which works most of the time. And then there's me bang, the exclamation point. That's also called the bang operator in Microsoft Access. Me dot bang first name, which is technically the correct way to do it. This is how I want to see my students doing it with the bang symbol. Let's talk about the difference. The dot operator is for properties or methods of an object. Okay, me dot name. That's the property, the name property of the current form. So customer F, for example, me dot caption. That's the caption property that goes across the top, all right, in the title bar. You could set that to customer form, for example. There's also methods. Properties describe something about it, like its name, its caption, its width. Those are all properties. Methods are doing stuff, right? Do command dot open form. There's a bunch of commands that fall under do command. Open form is one of the methods, right? Close is another method. Uh, do command that go to control, go to record. Those are methods, okay? Properties of controls. First name is a control, right? A field, a text box, dot set focus. That's a method that says go do something. It also has properties like first name dot width, okay? So those are properties or methods. Current DB dot open record set. This says do something to the current DB, right? An action. So these are actions or properties. The bang operator is to reference a member of a collection. Okay? Me is a form, and it has a collection of controls. Okay? And in those controls, there is one of those called first name. Technically, if you care, you could write this as me.controls.item and then in parentheses, first name. There's a, a whole ton of advanced stuff I could get into, but basically, Bang makes it a shorthand to say that's a member of the first name form, okay? First name, you can write it this way also. First name is a member of a collection of fields on customer form, which is a member of the form's collection, right? That's a collection. It's a member of a collection, okay? This is the way that you'd have to write it if you're referring to it on a different form. Okay, whereas if you're using just the current form, you can use that. And yes, for those of you who are curious, I'm using PowerPoint for my slides. Okay, I love PowerPoint. Now, if you've been using spaces in your field names, okay, you've got to refer to them with these brackets around them. And I cover this in my very first Access Beginner lesson. Don't use spaces in your form names or your field names. See how much more complicated this looks than that? All right, this is how you can refer to it on the current form. This is how you refer to it on a different form. And this is how you refer to it on a different form with spaces of the name. All right. Now, but you're telling me, Rick, I've been using me dot first name forever and it works. Yeah, it'll work some of the time, but not all of the time and not reliably. Okay. Why does it work? Because access is doing you a favor. When a form loads up, access will make all of the controls properties of that form. It's like a shorthand. They threw it in there to help people out. So you can say me dot first name and it will work most of the time, but not all of the time. So don't get used to it. Okay. You should be doing this, not this. Why? The first case, if your field name happens to be a reserved word in access, the bang will work. The dot will not. So if you happen to make a field name in your table name or caption or picture or any of the other dozens of reserved words, then me dot name will not work. Me dot caption will not work. Me dot picture will not work. This is the biggest thing that I get people emailing me 
well, I've got a field called caption because I'm doing like a, a photo database or whatever, and I want to put a caption for the picture in a text field. But when I say me dot caption, it's not working. Yeah, because captions a reserved word. You're referring to the property of that form called caption. Okay, so don't use that. Use exclamation point. And now this will work. This will refer to a field on your form called caption. Same thing with picture. There's hundreds of reserved words. I'll put a link down below to Microsoft's website. All right, name, for example, is one of the worst ones. Don't use name. Never use name for your fields. Okay, first name, last name, those are fine. Don't use name. Another reason they might stop working is if you change the record source of your property. This is a VBA technique. I use it all the time. All right, you've got, um, you've got a form and you want to change the record source. Like you want to switch it from being customer T to maybe manager T or something else, right? You say me dot record source equals something else. As soon as you change that and that field name no longer exists, access doesn't recreate it as a property. So if your code references me dot first name and first name is no longer in the record set, you'll get an error message. So that's another, this is a less common reason, but it's still a valid reason why not to use me dot first name. Okay, use me exclamation point first name. If it doesn't find it, it, you'll just get nothing. You'll get no result instead of an error message. The only major benefit of using the dot is you get IntelliSense. If you type in me dot, you'll get that list of IntelliSense stuff that shows you all the properties and the fields and the methods, all right, in the current form. If you really want that, type in me exclamation point and then hit control space, and that'll open up the, uh, the little IntelliSense dropdown. I almost never use that, though. And another side note is the me is completely unnecessary. P I see people posting code all the time online. Uh, they, send me, they send me code in questions and emails. You don't need to reference me if you're just working with the current form. Leave it off completely unless you're referencing a property, unless you want me.caption, okay, or the width property or something like that. Just leave it as first name. That's all you need. You don't need me dot first name or me exclamation point first name or anything. You, you don't need me at all unless you want a property. Okay? If you want me dot caption, great. If not, just say this. Okay? Otherwise, if you're referring to something on a different form, again, there's the, there's the notation. If you're referring to a sub form, okay, there's another popular question I get. It's forms, parent form, the, the name of the sub form dot form exclamation point the field name. All right, this is a side note, but this is another email I get all the time. Okay? So the takeaway from this quick tip, use this, not this, for your fields. Okay? I don't want to see any of my students doing that anymore. You send me an email, you're going to get sent to the principal's office. And I happen to be the principal, too. So i uh, get the, the dunce hat and the paddle going. All right. Hope you learned something. Hope this helps. Remember, bang, not dot. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. 
Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.